Are you a beginner and you're just tired of trying to find patterns that you can sew up quickly? Well, with hashtag make nine 2024 in full effect, I'm going to give you 10 beginner approved new look patterns that you could sew up for a stunning spring to summer wardrobe. And even further, if you don't, if you want to do more than one wardrobe builder and do like three, this will take you from spring to summer, or you could split it up and do it all year. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 patterns and I'm going to break them up into a 10 piece grid as we have for make nine. So we have make nine, but I'm gonna add one more square for make nine 2024 and do as a 10 piece beginner approved new look patterns. Now this one will only feature easy to sew, beginner friendly patterns for this one. All right, but if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, sambanani, salon, bonjour. If you are returning, you guys know what to do. Go get you a quick snack, something to drink. Come on back so we could go ahead and get into this video. But in order to keep this short, sweet, give you all the deets and the news that you can use on this video, let's go ahead and get into it, but first, Go ahead and grab your notebooks so you can write this down because I am not putting together a template for you for this one. I feel that this one you could easily write down in your notebook, head to Joann's, when there's a simplicity sell, and then pick up these patterns. Now, I did mention before that Joann's are starting to not have sales frequently, so if I were you, I would pick them up on Simplicity website when they are available for like $2.99 and save you the drive, the hassle, and you know, you could just go ahead and get it then as well, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so first things first, I went ahead and broke this down into 10 blocks. So the 10 blocks are squares that we will focus on for each pattern would be your tops, dresses, jackets, a two piece, shorts, pants, skirt, jumpsuit, coat, and vest. Those are the 10 items that we will be focused on. I'll say it one more time for you, top, a dress, jacket, two piece, shorts, pants, skirt, jumpsuit, coat, and a vest. Those are the pieces that we will be focusing on in this quick video for you to get 10 beginner approved new look patterns in your wardrobe. So this would be kind of like a new look make nine or make 10, however you want to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it because I don't want to waste any more of your time. All right, so let's first go ahead and get into the top. So I picked, of course, some of these will have two patterns, but for the most part, I picked one pattern to keep it easy for you as well. So the first one that we're gonna talk about is the top. So. One easy to sew pattern is a sleeveless knit top with bias state finishing pairs and you can add sleeves. So the pattern that I'm going to show is new look 6757. Now all of these are new look patterns. So I'm not going to say new look 50 million times for you. All right. So the first one is 6757. And the reason why I chose this one at the top is simply because it's easy to sew in and out the door. And I'm going to put all of the pattern numbers up on the screen for you if I have the pattern, all right? So this one is, you could do it for a two piece, but you can also do this as a top as well. So one thing that I will mention is in terms of notions, the only thing that you will need is bias tape for the top. However, you know, I have a whole video on how to 86 the bias tape and make you some facing as well. I will definitely put that up so you're able to see that as well. 
So that's the only notion you will need in order to do the top. But if you wanted to do the pants, let's go ahead and, not the pants, but the skirt. It's a skirt, not pants. Um, if you wanted to do the skirt, the only thing you will need for the skirt is a seven inch invisible zipper. So you can do this as just the top, or you can do this pattern as a two piece and do the tops and the pants, all right? So this will actually be in the pants section as well if you want to do that. Moving over to the next pattern, which is a dress. And that pattern that I'm going to say is 6669 for the dress, which is a fit and flare dress. Now this dress has princess seam, shoulder ties, and two lengths as well. Now, in terms of the notions that you will need for this, Outside of the thread, you will need three fourths inch wide elastic for this one, all right? So um, it's easy to sew as it shows on the pattern. It's, you will need knit, so make sure you have some knit fabric for that. Now, sometimes it could go either way, knit or a woven. If you are a woven girl like myself, I would probably say to size it up a little bit to fit the tatas and the hips and waist and all that good stuff. And so it woven, but this one does say that it is used for knit. So be cautious of that as well. Moving over to the next pattern, or let's go ahead and get into a jacket. All right. Now for this one, this one fits the bill of jacket and shorts. All right. So I'm not going to say, I'm going to say it again in the short section, but I'm just telling you that now, but this one fits both shorts and the jacket or a two piece. So this one can be used for so many different things, but let's get into this pattern, which is 6737. It's loose fitting jacket. It has the wide three quarter length sleeves with the hem band. Um, for the jacket it also features the front pockets if you want that it also have like the easy notch collar it also have like that wrap halter top which is self-lined with neck and back ties if you want to do view b for that little halter sexy top right and then the shorts is, are there are pull on loose fitting shorts that have the elastic waist side seam pockets and all that good stuff, all right? So this one, now this is an easy to sew pattern to be 100% honest with you guys, even though on the website, it states that it's an average to sew. The shorts are easy to sew, the jacket is easy to sew. The only reason why it's basically rated as average is because it has a notch collar for that jacket. That is it, all right? But if you have seen me do so many jackets, you will be fine, trust me, all right? Now, the only notion that you will need um, if you do all three pieces is on view C, you would just need one inch wide elastic. That's it, so the jacket is a no notion and the halter top is a no notion pattern as well, all right? So one other jacket that I'm gonna mention to you if you do not want to do that pattern you can go ahead and get 6770, which is an easy to sew pattern. Um, this one is also a simplicity pattern, which is 8924 for that pattern. It was just reissued into a new look pattern because y'all know new look is for the new school, right? Which, is, which are like the millennials and no offense to anyone, but this pattern caters more like to your 25 to 35 year olds, right? And some people in their 40 like myself will sew this pattern. So I don't like to put an age on patterns, but you do what you do, what makes you feel good, all right? But 6770 is an unlined jacket and pull on pants, easy to sew in and out that door, all right? Let's go ahead and move into the next square, which would be a two piece. So first of all, I wanna give a shout out to Terrence from Terrence Williams here on YouTube and on Instagram, all social media platforms. I wanna give a shout out to Terrence because he did a complete, like he did it on live. He did like a live sew along to this pattern, which is 6758, which I sew this pattern. This pattern is also McCall 7757. If you do not have the McCall 7757, you could definitely get New Look 6758, which is the top and pant pattern. Now this pattern is an easy to sew off the, off the shoulder crop top that have elasticated um, neckline and kind of have elastic around the waist as well. You could do the long sleeves. Um, Montoya Maya have also 
did this pattern um i think she did both the top and the pants but if she did not do the pants she definitely have sewn that top all right and the pants are just basically loose fitting white leg pull on pants that have elastic waist i think if i remember correctly when i did it it's three rows of elastic and side seam pockets i still have those pants in my wardrobe and i pretty much wear them a lot on the weekends um as well if i remember i'll put a picture up so you're able to see me in those pants as well but once again the pattern is 67.58 now in terms of the notions that you will need of course you would just need elastic you could use knit and woven fabric in order to do this pattern all right now the other pattern that i'm gonna uh shout out to you for two piece would be 67.36 this is also kind of like an halter top and two lengths that have that back shearing going on. Um, it have like an attached under bra. Don't ask me because I have not done this pattern. I'm just telling you I have it. Um, I would love to do it um, for a vacation, but it does have the attached under bra and ties at the neck as well. Um, the pants are relaxed pull on pants as well. Um, I want to say that Raven from, from Raven Marine did, I believe she did a sew along for this one or she made it for her vacation. Also my girl Tamika from So Serene Tamika, she did this. I want to say she did it for a vacation in 2023 as well. I'll put both of their handles up on the screen, their Instagram handle, but Raven, you could check out her video on her YouTube channel, which is linked in the description box below. All right, so moving on to the next square, which would be a pair of shorts. And the pair of shorts, of course, I just told you, it's New Look 6737, so I kind of already mentioned that one to you. But let's go ahead and get into the next square. The next square would be pants. I mentioned this pattern to you already for the pants. I'm just gonna go straight to 6770 once again. I feel that that pattern would be a great pair of pulled on pants for you to quickly sew up in and out the door. Not a lot of pattern pieces and all that good jazz, all right? Moving over to the next square. So the next square is a skirt. And the skirt that I'm gonna rec recommend to you, it's an easy to sew pattern. I did a complete sew along for this pattern, which is 6702. Now, 6702 is basically a skirt with seaming. When they say seaming, you're going to be doing some top stitching on the seam. I love this skirt. I'm gonna put a picture up so you're able to see me in that skirt when I completed it. But this is like a slim fitting through the hips with a slightly flared hem and I love it. It's easy to sew. In terms of notions, the only thing that you will need would be a uh, zipper. So an invisible zipper is all you need. Now, for me, you guys know when I did the sew along, I use, I believe a nine inch or a 12 inch zipper, a longer zipper, but you only need a seven inch invisible zipper in order to do the skirt. I love it. And I highly recommend this skirt to you guys as an easy beginner friendly pattern as well. All right, let's move over to the next um, square. The next square is a jumpsuit. And the pattern that I'm gonna recommend for this jumpsuit is 67, I'm sorry, 6373. Once again, I'm going to say that once again because I kind of fudged that one. For this pattern is New Look 6373, which is a jumpsuit. And this jumpsuit was also made by Montoya Mayo. Um, she has it on her YouTube channel. I don't think she did a complete sew along for it, but I know she's sewn this uh, jumpsuit before. Now, I have fabric for this jumpsuit, right? I just haven't sewn it up yet. But I'm going to recommend view A is the one that I'm looking for. But you could also do this in a romper, jumpsuit or romper, whichever one suits your fancy. But this is an easy to sew pattern. It actually says easy on the pattern. But on the website, simplicity.com, it rates this pattern as average. Well, maybe because it has kind of like a flounce or whatnot in the front may be the reason why. But I'm not 100% sure. I haven't done this pattern. But this one has a long jumpsuit and it also features kind of like your drop waist dress so i would probably do both the dress and the jumpsuit when i get around to this pattern this one has thick straps so you guys know when i did my slip dress on live i also opt for 
thicker straps. So um, if you missed that video, I'll also link it in the description box below and on the end screen to the live to where you could zoom straight to the uh, straps to see how I enlarge the strap piece to make that strap to where I could wear a bra. All right. Sometimes people cannot wear you know, things without a bra because they tatas be just hanging down and my girls don't sit up nice and at attention like they used to. All right. So I'm just going to say that and keep on rolling. Right. But this is a, or you could do the short romper for this pattern. You could do the slip dress, which is view C um, on this pattern. And you could also do kind of like this pattern in the slip dress. Like I did enlarge the, and do the, like the straps, which you could do the thicker strap instead of the thinner straps for this pattern. But once again, it's the jumpsuit 6373. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. Now, you guys have heard me say this pattern so many times. But first of all, let's talk about the square. The square we're talking about is the coat that I'm talking about is <laughs> a coat. And this coat is, of course, I have done it. You guys have seen it in blue. I also have this in like a tan beigey color that I don't wear a lot, but it's 6742. You guys know I have a complete sew along for this um, coat. I love it, okay? I haven't worn it so many times, so I could contest that it is a good pattern. I love it, all right? so. For this one, it's a unlined wrap coat that have and the jacket with an asymmetrical stain collar. Now you will need a snap in order to snap that uh, front portion of the collar over, or you could lay it down on your body as well. I have wore it both ways. It is relaxed fit and it have a tight belt and drop shoulders for sure. It is an easy to sew pattern. Um, I'm going to link to the sew along in the description box below, but in terms of notions outside of that, uh, snap closure that you will need that I just told you about, you will need kind of like some, um, binding or you, some bias tape. Now I made my own bias tape to go around the coat. Um, but you could just use scrap fabric and I just use some Ankara fabric from my stash from a previous project. This is how you get rid of these scraps. Okay. Um, and that's what I did. I put it around, I believe I put it around the belt as well as the collar and stuff like you see in view A for this pattern. But I love this coat. I wear it all the time. You guys have seen it in many of my videos. All right. But once again, this is 6742 and easy to sew beginner approved new look pattern. Let's talk about the last square and the last pattern. So the last square and the last pattern would be a vest. Now, this is not technically a vest, but it suits as a vest slash jacket, all right? And we already kind of talked about a jacket, so it suits as a vest and a jacket because New Look doesn't do a lot of vests that are easy to sew, all right? So this one is 6706. It's more of like an overhead poncho that you can do with or without the hood. It has side seam pockets. Um, it has some top stitching that you could do. It has front seams and a curved hem. Now, if you do not want that curved hem, you can make it straight across like I would because I'm not a huge fan of curved hems. That's just my, my preference, but you can do uh, the curved hem. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to my girl, Lee Janeiro from Lee Janeiro, Nero Barnes. Um, I can't remember if she did a sew along or if she just did a pattern review, but I will put her handle in the description box below. If she has a sew along for this pattern, I will definitely drop that in the description box below as well. One last pattern that I'm going to mention in terms of the vest would be new look 6677. Now this pattern right here, it's not necessarily a vest. It's more like a throw on tie front jacket or whatever you want to call it. Right. And the reason why I'm going to mention this one is because if you're not feeling 6706, which is more like a poncho, you can do this softly tight jacket with the puffs gathered sleeves, um, into the band. So you have a band, you have the puff sleeves. It's, you know, it's really nice. And this one also features a pull on wide leg pants as well. The pattern is rated as easy for sure. Let's talk about in terms of what you will need just for that tie, uh, 
jacket or whatever you want to call it. so it's a no notion pattern like i mentioned before and if you want to do those wide leg pants the only thing that you will need is a one inch wide elastic for sure all right well those are all the patterns that i'm going to tell you about in order to get you a 10 piece beginner friendly approved new look wardrobe for a stunning spring and summer wardrobe if you do not have time to do all 10 of these in the spring and summer time as it's easy to sew you can definitely do it all year and still do open enrollment for hashtag make nine 2024. All right. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And since you made it this far, and if you think this video was educational, inspiring and fun, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. Also smash that notification bell. So you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always keep sewing. They hate when you elevate. The second of losses, I'm handing them out. Yeah, I had to go delegate. It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the